Welcome into the shop, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I want to say thanks to the new subscribers that have joined the channel. Just a second. Felt like that tool was pointing right at my head. It was just weird. I didn't like it. Uh, yeah, so the new subscribers, I just want to say thanks for tuning in. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about me and the channel. I've been building custom furniture for about eight years. Uh, started the channel about two and a half, three years ago. Mostly what I've done on the channel is kind of these carving or small project videos where I don't talk or have music, just the sound of the working. It's become fairly popular. I also, on larger projects like a recent dresser, I did a two-part series on a full dresser build, and I did commentary and voiceover over that. I also do kind of a behind-the-scenes uh, vlog-style video where I kind of show you guys what's going on in the shop. And that's what we're doing today. We're working on a 9 foot by 42 inch long custom order dining room table. That my, an interior designer I work for designed this and asked if I could build it. And I said I would love to. It's a very different design. Not something I would normally do. It's kind of got a, a scalloped apron. So I would call it a little feminine or girly. Um, hopefully it doesn't offend anyone. I kind of live in a word culture. So who knows. Uh, but anyway, it's, it'll be a fun challenge to do this pattern. Uh, I've leaned on my CNC to create the jigs. And today in the video you're going to see us cut the joinery in the aprons and legs, and then cut out that profile uh, and a few other things. So let's just jump right in and uh, get going on this. So real quick, while I'm setting up the mortiser, let me try to explain this joint to you. It's kind of a hybrid of a mortise and tenon. I call it a slip joint. Uh, basically, I have a floating tenon that will fit into the apron uh, slot that we're gonna cut out on the mortiser. We'll glue that in place and we'll cut the exact same matching slot on the leg and then glue the table together. So that spline, that additional piece is actually a spline that attaches the two pieces together and creates a pretty strong joint. Okay, we got mortises cut and all the legs. Looks really cool, worked well. If you didn't notice, that was not easy to press the pedal down. I actually feel a pretty, pretty good burn in my leg right here. Okay, so with the legs done, we're gonna shift gears to the aprons. Same concept, we'll just plunge down into it. We gotta drop the table because we got a little taller piece here. Um, shouldn't take long, we we'll get this knocked out. I've got all of this cut. We got legs on the bottom, two short aprons, and then the two long aprons done. To give you a better idea of how, let's see if I can do this with one hand, of how this is gonna work. So that is kind of the general idea. There will be a spline glued in, and that creates the joint and the structure that uh, holds this table together. I will pre-glue, so on the aprons, I'll go ahead and make that piece uh, and glue it in and let it set and then come back and uh, start assembling everything uh, together Okay, so the next step here is we've got We've got all the mortises cut on the Oliver Mortiser now we're gonna come over to the Oliver bandsaw my 36 inch bandsaw and cut the profiles and the aprons So we've got to take off the big inch and a half Resaw blade and put on my 3 8 blade so we can cut that curve uh, and that is quite the process. So I'm going to set up and get that done now.
so these cut out great. It was a little tricky cutting the long ones, as you can tell. Luckily, my dad showed up and was able to help out uh, the best he could. Looks really cool. Everything works. The next step here is to put the templates on and use the flush shimmy router bit. I want to take a quick break from the router from putting that profile. You notice how much dust and, and uh, shavings I'm making to talk a little bit about a very concerning safety problem in the shop and that's dust. Uh, it just comes with building furniture. You're going to have dust in your shop. It's going to happen. You can mitigate a lot of it by having good dust collection, but you still have um, really fine particles that are in the air of your shop that you don't want to breathe, especially over long term. So it's important that as a furniture shop, you have some sort of um, filtration system, some way to refresh the air and clean the air in the shop. EnviroCleanse sent me this unit about three weeks ago. The first thing I love about it, it's metal. There's no plastic in it, so it can, you obviously can beat it up. I, I hate plastic products, so that's the first thing I noted that I like about it. The, what makes this system so unique is it is a two-stage filtration. So it has a HEPA filter that will filter down to 0.3 microns. Now, to put everything in perspective, the harmful dust is 10 microns or below, and that is not something you can see. You can't see those dust particles, but they are very fine. You breathe them in really easily, and they get trapped in your lungs and your nasal passages, and they, they can really mess you up long term. Um, they can cause a lot of health issues and even cancer. So having a HEPA filter is absolutely critical. Um, on top of it, this unit also has a separate filter that filters VOCs. So if you're using paints, uh, any kind of like finishing, lacquers, epoxies, this unit will help refresh the air, clean those harmful fumes out, and uh, protect your lung. I've been using it for two or three weeks. I think it works great. I love it. I just push it around the shop wherever I'm working, keep it next to me. If I'm cutting on the table saw, I put it out behind the saw so the dust that shoots off the blade is heading right into this unit. Uh, if I'm using a sander, I push it next to the sander. And if I'm over here working like I am on the router right now, we, I have it right there next to me and it'll help clean that dust out around me. For any of y'all out there who has a wood shop, you need to get a filtration unit. I would, I recommend this one. The link is in the description. Go check it out. It's also very useful in the home. It's actually designed, I think, for in the home, but it's found a great application here in my shop as well. So head down, check it out. Thanks to EnviroCleanse for sponsoring, for sending the units, uh, for letting me use it. I'm very impressed. Uh, so let's get back uh, to making dust with this router. That's it. Uh, the long aprons are two short aprons and all the legs have the profiles cut out. Uh, there's quite a bit of sanding to do now um, just to smooth that edge. A little bit of chisel work to do on these spots. I want a nice crisp transfer there. Same thing here on the legs. We've got to do some chisel work right here to kind of make that a nice crisp transition so it matches the profile of the apron. And what we'll do is glue in the tenons or splines into the aprons, let that set, and then start assembling the table. That's really it. There's some exciting things going on. Um, obviously, I want to thank EnviroCleanse for sponsoring the video. Also, I have finally found something to replace the old crappy DeWalt. I said DeWalt. It's actually a Delta. Delta laid back here. This thing doesn't even work. Um, I'll show you how bad it is. Any more plugs? Does everyone have that problem? Not enough plugs in the shop. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, it doesn't work. Notice nothing spinning. The belt's off. I didn't realize I took the belt off, but this is all patty wampus and loose in here, and it's broken. So, as always, thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. 
Um, I want you to please, if this is your first time, hit the subscribe button and the notification button. That way you will not miss the next video um, or the upcoming videos where we're going to get the new machine in. I'm going to be learning how to turn bowls, which I'm really excited about. This new machine will allow me to do that. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to learn. So uh, that is something to look forward to. Also, we got the rest of the table build. I don't want you guys to miss that. Um, so, yes, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this style of video. Shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you next time.